Well, welcome to the Apple family panel. <laughs> I think we're all going to talk like this. As you may know, I'm not an Apple. But they've asked me to pretend that I am. So I'm going to introduce the actual Apples, and they're going to come out, and they're going to sit here, and you can ask them questions. And that's how panels work, in case you've never been to one before. All right, so I guess I'll call out first Big Macintosh and Goldie Delicious. He's learning to walk on two hooves. <laughs> Good morning, Big Mac. Yeah. And then I'd like to introduce Bright Mac. Good morning. Granddaughter of Green and 
the dollars. Apparently my father's still alive. Nobody cared to tell me, which is great, but you know. And uh, that's my brother down there. And are you my cousin? It's all in the family. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. No, 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 nobody worry. It's just fall down, shoot the brother. All right, fantastic. I mean, fantastic. It's great to have the whole family here present. So I guess if y'all could line up for questions, that'd be fantastic right over there. Yeah, beautiful. Bravery. Those who go first are brave. Don't be shy. If we have any falls, then the falls go first. There we go. We won't buy unless you're dressed like an animal. In that case, we may make a mistake. <laughs> Uh, maybe you can point the mic down. Feel free to yank the mic in any direction you see fit. <laughs> Just don't break it because it's not. Maybe, I don't maybe, think maybe, the mic maybe is on. Maybe Comstock can help with the microphone to, to help with making the right distance height for people. Oh, there you go. Okay, uh, that works. Oh. Everybody here? Yeah. Everybody? Okay. All right. Test, test. Can everyone hear me? Awesome. <laughs> First, I want to say thank you all for coming here because I can't, I'm so super excited and I can't help myself. I, I feel like taking back my neck. Um, and uh, so I'll be quick. Uh, unfortunately, um, my question is actually for uh, Peter. Uh, Who? Peter New. Uh, there ain't no Peter New up here. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, just Big Mac Cop. Big Mac. Sorry, Big. Sorry, uh, Big. My question. I wrote my logo is wrong. Uh, my question is for Big Mac. Um, technology is not my bad thing. You can it's all right. Take all your right. time. How would Cousin Orchard Blossom describe her impressions attending a bony con convention? How would Orchard Blossom describe what? Her, how she, her, how she, her impressions of, be, of attending a brony con. Oh, my impressions of attending brony con. Well, <laughs> it sure is hotter than the business end of a con con library. I'll tell you that. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot that was just cool for a second there. I had to bring that back. Hi. Um, this is to Peter. What if Big Mac turned into an actual Big Mac? Well, I suppose that'd be tasty. Only at McDonald's. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> this is for uh, Macintosh and and a bright Mac. How was Apple Bloom born? The usual way. <laughs> In a bar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we all know. Yeah. Uh, I have a question for uh, any of you. 
Um, what do you think of the theory that white man and hair butter swap, swap fever and turn into trees? I heard Harley sweet talk. I heard swamp fever is what I heard. It's the, the mice aren't good at the, or the, the system we can hear very well. So sorry, repeat that one more time. Uh, what do you think of the fan theory that right back and pear butter caught swamp fever and turned into trees? Caught swamp fever and then the mic you can hear the same. Caught swamp fever and turned into trees. Well, I always, I always have been a fan of our of, of arboreal uh, nature, but and I've caught many a fever, but I don't know about swamp fever. Does swamp fever turn you into trees? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, those tr the intertwined trees existed before, like they saw it. Or uh, did they become the trees? You planted them at your wedding. Yeah, right? So, I mean, we didn't become those trees. Like, did we just become like a boring, regular tree? Because yeah. I feel like we've been outshined by the tree we planted. I mean, if you were planted in our garden, then we've been kicking you for years. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> no, I don't like that theory at all. And if, if they eat your fruit, is that cannibalism? Technically? Yeah, that's gross. That's gross. No. Oh, God. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that you are famous for your sap apple jam. Am I correct? Yep. If so, then is there a real life recipe for it? Yep. <laughs> okay, so you take two phoenix feathers, pile of dirt, uh, a stapler, and uh, a, a, an even bigger calculator, and then uh, one plasma screen TV, two spoonfuls of cinnamon, Sugar and zap. Apple jam. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't get your cream marks. I know. It's pretty, I, there's not many things that would have been good for me to get cream marks in. Pretty much anything, except for shields. Yeah. That's a lot. Shields. Okay. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Thank you, sugar butter. Nice cosplay. <laughs> Hello. Well, hi. Well, I'm fancy meeting y'all here. <laughs> um, first of all, it's great to see all of you again. I think I've met all of you except for Bill, so hi. <laughs> um, I love, um, I do panels on social science at these conventions, so I always love to ask a little social science question of y'all. So, uh, yeah, come to my panel at 1.30, by the way. Shameless plug, <laughs> keeping friendship magic. Anyway. <laughs> I totally didn't plan that. Anyway, so um, what I'd love to ask, what I'd love to ask all of y'all is, um, what character trait do you most think think is the strongest for your character, and that you most resemble or think that um, others should look to to kind of inspire them? But I think the strongest character is to do my character T. <laughs> Everyone should aspire to have at least one of the cheap, and a couple beside your bed in case of an emergency. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I think warmth is probably my character's strongest trait, and the one that I try to resemble most is warmth and friendliness. Wisdom. <laughs> The cats! <laughs> <laughs> My house is starting to look like Gold Deliciousness, so I understand. We, we, we. <laughs> I. Uh. It's rocks. Unfazed. Unfazed, you know. That's something that I personally aspire to in crowds. Thank you. Um, well, I would say Ed Bloom's main trait is determination, and I feel like it's a, yes, a serious answer, Gabriel. I am capable of it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd say that that's the trait that I have the most commonness with her, also eloquence, apparently. <laughs> and, um, she just never gives up, and that's something that I also don't not do. 
<laughs> Don't not do. It's a good time. Determination. Never gonna give you. <laughs> <laughs> Applejack. Oh, goodness gracious, I, I think my honesty can be a, a fantastic trait, but the problem is that uh, I'm brutally honest at times, so if you ask me if you look fat in that dress, I'm most likely going to say yes. Makes a pant By the way, Tabitha, I met Ellie last weekend. She was delightful, and she wanted to say hi, so she couldn't be here, so. Hello, sister. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here at our, I guess we caught our own little Apple family reunion. Well, yeah. <laughs> all right, the big question I have for all of you is, does an apple a day really keep the doctor away? If you throw it hard enough. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> My daughter's always been so quick. Uh, how would you know, Dad? Where have you been? Oh. 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 That's, that's a fair point. A little resentment. Thank you. Thank you. Ate it like an ice cream cone. <laughs> like an apple. Get right, right, right here. This is all the way from the. It makes you sound all so. I see. <laughs> okay, what's the craziest stunt you ever managed to pull off? Oh, the craziest, craziest stunt, stunt I've ever managed, managed to pull off? Well, in our day, I made a Applejack, and I had done some pretty ridiculous things. Um, Gabriel, more so than. Me, uh, Apple Blue, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, Dave and I have done lots of crazy stuff. Uh, no, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it, I'll keep it, I'll keep it, all right. Uh, we've done bungee jumping, he you know, was a qualified skydiver, was obviously in the military, so we've done lots of crazy stuff, we've built lots of stuff, and we've hurt each other multiple times. We were just reminiscent about that time I basically broke his jaw and we were back flipping, and that he was... punched me in the face. Not intentionally. Not intentionally. Not intentionally. Uh, so we, we've got our fair share of uh, excitement stories. Applejack. Applejack and Applejack. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Do you mean personally or as our characters? Either or. Once I was on a TV show about the apocalypse called Aftermath with Ellen DeGeneres. No, her ex-girlfriend, pardon me. Oh, Sugar Rose. That has her wife. Different one. Oh. Uh, Anne Hatch. And my friend was being eaten by a giant monster plant, so I had to shoot her. <laughs> the giant monster plant took my friend and was eating her, and she, so I put her out of her misery. And I had to like do training with weapons because I felt very uncomfortable, and I still do. Yay. <laughs> Uh, once I had the funny back to shine and I reckoned I could fly. I was here for that one. Mm -hmm. Where was witness? Yeah, not so much a fly as a splat. Almost got the nickname Apple Splat. <laughs> <laughs> I think the the craziest stunt I ever pulled off was probably disappearing on my whole family. <laughs> oh! It was a pretty magical day! I mean, I got away with it. I don't know if I pulled off many crazy stunts that usually fall pretty flat for me, but I think the best thing I ever managed to do is make Sugar Bell fall for me. I had to be careful not to say sweetie, but I always get them confused. Oh! <laughs> not really. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, Peter. Oh, and if there's any other kittens out there, let's get them to the front of the line, hey? So, um, uh, are you related to Applejack? I mean, Applejack? Is Applejack related to Pinkie Pie or not? 
Oh, I feel that one, the genealogist of the family, and don't know. <laughs> I reckon I'm not sure where Pinky came from. So I suppose she could be related to all of us and none of us at the same time. Paradox pony. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, this is for Big Mac. If you and Sugar Bell get married, are you, are you going to elope? Okay. 
Dad's naming me. Who are you doing? Who else do? Sit down. No idea who you are. I'll teach them about Rob. Thank you. <laughs> Ever happened to you and or your character? Sisterhood social. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty extravagant, wasn't it, big man? Yep. <laughs> Too exciting. I think, I, I think the most exciting thing that happened to my character is uh, meeting Pear Butter, that like noticing her in the field and then just charging across it and really wrecking that water down. <laughs> there was a lot of excitement in like 30 seconds. Uh, and the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me, the person, uh, person. is probably getting to pursue my voiceover career. Like actually getting to be a part of something like, like this. this. This is pretty wild. If you told me five years ago, that I'd be here doing this out of laughing face. <laughs> so thank you, all of you. And all of you. It's a serious question. I did a, I did a serious answer. I could do it too. It's <laughs> not right? Well, let's say goodbye to sincerity. Bye. <laughs> Once, Pinky gave me an amethyst. <laughs> well, there was this one time that my arch nemesis became my best friend in like one song, and then there was a big tornado, and we got tattoos on the book. So that was exciting. <laughs> uh, what happened to your character? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, probably me personally, I don't know, I, I can never pick like one specific thing, but the most exciting thing that's happened to me this year was finishing my album. Uh, that was a long time. That was a long time coming, and now I'm really excited to perform some of the songs for the first time. To, not tonight, tomorrow, because it just came out. And so, yay, it's going to be good. Woo! For shows at, at 8 p.m. on Saturday. Can I add? I just want to add as a person, yes. one of the most exciting things that I've done recently is make my film Woodman, which is showing here at this convention on Sunday morning. I've, I've seen it, it's really awesome. It's a work winning and stuff, which is pretty great. When is it showing? Uh, 10, 10 or 10.30 Sunday morning. Sunday morning, okay. Yeah. It's in the comic book. Ooh. Be there will be square. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Next question. Hello, this is for Michelle. Hello. I was wondering, since Hello. you voice Apple Bloom, but you sing for Sweetie Belle, why don't you sing for Apple Bloom? Oh, I do sing for Apple Bloom. Yeah, I've always sung for Apple Bloom. Um, yeah. And she didn't really used to sing that often, but they all kind of sing the same about now. Okay, good. The tea is silent and awful. <laughs> <laughs> And can we hear um, Apple Bloom sing the Zakora song that Pinkie Pie wrote? <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> yes, that. Oh, I think I. He does a little dance. Okay, hold on. 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 She's an she's an evil enchantress. She does evil dances. Yeah. Like you look in her eyes, she will put you in trances. And oh. what would you do? She'll be the evil brew. And she'll go blow you up. So what do you say, Sue? So watch out! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You'll never forget it. So maybe you'll back out. Hello, darling. Uh, my question is for uh, Marble Pie, Ingles Rock, or Big Mac. Uh, how does Marble Pie feel 
که واقعی معنی شده بود. اما من حالا، I mean that's my life. Oh, wow. How is Marble Pie handling the Big Mac and Sugar Bell? Oh. Well, I said there was somebody earlier that had a question for you, Freddy. And then... I think she's handling it very well, thank you very much. Hmm. <laughs> oh, she's doing all right. She could do better. Oh. Just worried. 
that she would hurt herself, but luckily I used my rescue rock grounding, pummeling technique, and she was okay. So I think even though I don't show things on the outside that much, if you get to know me, you know that I'm pretty compassionate. Well, that's true. Yeah. Sometimes people would describe your poetry about what's it's like something like watching paint dry. <laughs> Who are these people? This is true. And to them I say, eat my rocks. <laughs> oh snap. <laughs> oh snap. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe perhaps if people get to know you more, they'll think less negative about you. Exactly. Thank you for your considerate question. Uh, hey guys. Um, so, uh, question. For each of you, what is the one thing that annoys you the most? And also, is there a member of the Apple family that doesn't eat or like apples? And if so, how do you treat them? <laughs> well, well, I prefer pears. Which is <laughs> Enough said. I'll just leave it at that. Pears have a way of going missing. <laughs> I wouldn't want him to eat it after them pears. <laughs> Quickly, somebody else, please answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for you to finish. You seem to be on a roll, so uh, annoyed. Mm -hmm. The ball go all the way down the hill. Uh, I'll answer the next question. Styrofoam. I can't stand it. If it, you know, when you like pull out a new Christmas ornament or something, and you gotta, you gotta, you know, undo the tape and pull it out, and I can't take it. I can't. I, I can't stand the sound of styrofoam. Hello. I'm sorry. I turned you off. I'm annoyed by ill consideration. And uh, if someone in the Apple family didn't eat apples, I would question whether or not they were in the Apple family. Because we all look like apples quite a bit. It's we more than have apples on our butts. <laughs> Passion, more than just taste. Unstable stalactites. <laughs> <laughs> Overdressed savage. <laughs> What's he saying? And he's always going on about overdressed oh, okay. savage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, um, uh, so we got about 15 minutes left, it says? Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, we're probably not going to add anyone else to the line. We'll try to get through everybody we have here. When we have about five minutes left, we'll go into a speed round. Alrighty. So just be prepared. I know you all like apples a lot, so if you have the choice between getting a million bits and never being able to eat apples again, or oh. just keeping apples and also have money. So, you know, I think it's with her million bucks, and well, she's a scientist, of course, as we already determined previously. So she figured out. How do you live on your own? Good. 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 Nice question, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, sometimes, uh, back when Applejack didn't know where her father was, uh, she'd look up in the sky and she'd see. Uh, whenever she needed guidance, she'd see two shooting stars. Right. So right back, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Oh! oh. I never quite landed. You see, I have, and Pear Brother has a rocket ship. <laughs> so like, every now and again, we just come around and just so happen to coincide with Apple Blue Blue Guidance. But we're having a great time for you. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> around and around. <laughs> 
No one made no religious. <laughs> Rocket ships, I recommend them. <laughs> Great Paul <Paula> figure. <laughs> We all heard uh, what strawberries or sunrise thought of uh, apples. What do you all think about strawberries? Mm. Uh, I think they belong on shortcake. In shortcake. Yup. Shortcake. Tasty. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was expecting more contention. I'm proud. I like them in the summertime because that's when they're in season. <laughs> hey there, this one's for Granny Smith. You've lived a long and storied life, Live, uh, learned many <clears throat> lessons. Could you maybe dictate a letter to Princess Celestia for us? A letter to Princess Celestia. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this should be interesting. Dear Princess Celestia, <laughs> how many R's is on the end of your name? <laughs> well, sir, Granny Smith, and I know you think you old, but some of us have been here an even longer time. I was just wondering if you could chill me with it. <laughs> The letter actually has, like, Z's on it. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right, along those lines, Granny Smith, uh, how did you discover the secret to immortality? How did I discover the secret to immortality? And will you share it, please? Uh, oh. And that we tell it. And now it's true that witches need is a rocket chain. Uh, and it is just you, you park it in the rocking chair. Now you don't have to do anything, cause the sun moves around, but you stay still. You will find that if you have enough of sprinklings, they will move your chair. It's dramatic, so you catch the fire rays of the old sunshine. In other words, she makes us do all the work. That's right. <laughs> Work, and then you just store some sunshine in your teeth. <laughs> Good to know. Hi, uh, this where's my time. Uh, first time here. Yay! Same. <laughs> Here's my question: How does the Apple family survive now, considering that Applejack is a teacher in the School of Friendship, and I'm assuming cannot be on the farm as much to work? So how do you survive? I just sit in my chair. <laughs> I do more bucking. <laughs> With the bee. With <laughs> and I'm just complaining more than ever. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I think this question is for Granny Smith. Uh, what was it like having the name Granny when you were a foal? Were you just like really excited? <laughs> This is still part of her letter to Celestia, by the way. <laughs> and in closing, I will just like it. <laughs> That's why all the letters in the history I just look like that. Maybe they're all written by Granny. <laughs> just a bunch of squiggles. Uh, this is a question for everyone. What happened to Winona? <laughs> oh. I think she's she, she's with father now. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs>
So you mean on a rocket ship? She left. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the supernatural Marvel 